Hey everyone, this is Disk Junkie, and today I'm actually celebrating my 600th video on YouTube. <coughs> you know, I was just looking at my video count and I realized that it said 599, and I'm like, that can't be right. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, 600 uploads on YouTube, and I thought, why not do a video like the videos I usually do and just talk about my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection, which is one of my reoccurring topics for this channel as you know I think it's around 270 different variations of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974 directed by Toby Hooper and it's essentially these three Billy bookshelves which you see here in the middle one is sort of obscure here by my various Super 8 projectors so uh, I thought I would talk to you about some of the new stuff and I essentially made a video back in September of 2018. Oh, I actually want to give a shout out to my new friend and new subscriber, Darren, over in Ireland, who was uh, really appreciative of my last Texas Chainsaw video, or my Texas Chainsaw videos in general, when he discovered them. He actually called me up, really nice guy, I actually made a phone call, which feels pretty unusual today, especially when it's, you know, an international call. You know, I had a great talk, uh, so it's a really great guy, and it's nice to get some feedback from subscribers, because these days it feels like a lot of people don't like, don't comment, don't, you don't, you don't get as much interaction on YouTube as you used to, like back when I started. But in any case, uh, I'm just happy that somebody's still watching, so let's go on to checking out what new stuff I have in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. These days I try to sort of stack things in a different way. I try to stack them like this because then I know sort of what's new in terms of you know until I make my next Texas Chainsaw video I will know that these are the new stuff. I guess we can start over here. Here's actually a bunch of new Blu-rays and DVDs so these are modern day releases of course. These are a bunch of new Italian releases which are actually quite beautiful. So this is a limited edition Blu-ray 4K Ultra release. Quite a beautiful package, really well built. This really thick cardboard case and uh, I haven't really done a video on this. So this is essentially the Blu-ray version, the 4K version. There is also a essentially identical or very similar version on DVD which is also a limited edition so you can see it's essentially pretty much the same just says Blu-ray or, or DVD so cover is all the same, the overall design is all the same and this is one which I can actually just open up for you briefly just to give you some idea of the overall build quality which I think is pretty damn amazing and now I realize <laughs> it's ironic that I started making videos on YouTube and you know making this using a tripod and having like a white background and being this professional guy and now I'm standing here making my 600th video and I'm, you know, <laughs> doing a bloody handheld. In any case, just wanted to show you this. This is from Cult Media and Midnight Classics. This is an Italian label and it's just, it's just a beautiful presentation. This fold out, digipack, digibook, whatever you want, call it. I can never remember which is which. So it's a three disc edition, got this nice little glue down booklet type thing in the middle and uh, yeah it's just an awesome awesome build quality you can see it's a really thick case and the uh, the exterior cardboard case it's not a, it's not a paper case it is a really thick overly thick cardboard case just like the, the, the best in terms of cardboard you know when you think about these super sturdy boxes like you know like one of these this is an old Blair Witch special edition like you would actually have like this big hefty cardboard box which is just super thick and sturdy. It's It really is that type of quality. But never mind, this isn't really about Blair Witch, so let me just go ahead and try to stick that back. So I got those two and I also got this which is essentially a twin pack. So this is the Blu-ray I got there is identical to the Blu-ray in here. These are the individual boxes for part 1 and part 2 of Texas Chainsaw in similar design, in similar slip cases, and then there's a exterior thick box encasing both of them. So it's sort of like a uh, duplicate slip case, slip case over slip case design, which is awesome. Same epic build quality on that. Next up we got some stuff here, and that is from the same collector who was sort of 
selling a bunch of Texas Chainsaw and I was able to pick up a bunch of these releases which I've been wanting for a while. A very early Danish edition. Then we got one which I actually had from before. This is a very old pre-search era Dutch release which comes in this super sized case and you've probably seen this in my collection before because I actually have two of them but now I don't just have VHS and uh, Video 2000, I actually have the missing format, which is the Betamax tape. Really bizarre Betamax tape in the yellow and blue. So that's really epic. Down here we got some new stuff. Here is a German Blu-ray, pretty simple keep case. Came out a while back. Uh, here is a bootleg release from Germany, which I've had before, but I bought another copy because this one essentially has the proper tape in it, which the old one didn't have. Then we got another bootleg from Spain. So we got La Matanza de Texas, and this is essentially one of those releases which, I don't know if pr people print them out themselves or whatever, kind of dodgy. And speaking of dodgy, this is official. But it's it's a very bizarre weirdo cover. This is La Masacre de Texas, and this is a Mexican VHS release. Uh, really uncommon. I have a Mexican DVD which essentially uses the same cover, but really happy to get that. It was quite a find, even though it was uh, pretty expensive. So then we got a stack over here. Which I'm just gonna move over here so we can flip through them. It's really uncommon. Japanese VCD, video, CD, or C well, whatever you call them. It's a VCD. Kind of a weird plastic sort of double case that you fold out. I just think the spine is bizarre on this one. So it's a two disc VCD release. Pretty weird. Great shape and, and really, really, really unusual. So really stoked about finally getting that. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah, here's one that's definitely not Texas Chainsaw, but it's uh, another copy of the Texas Dildo Masquerade, which is an, an infamous uh, porno spoof of the movie. It actually stars Ron Jeremy as the wheelchair-bound Franklin. And if you're a fan of Texas Chainsaw and you haven't seen this, look it up. It is, I mean, it's a hardcore porn flick. Uh, and that is a doll, by the way, so don't, you know, ban or flag this video on account of the nipples, because that is actually a blow-up doll. It's not a real person. Grow up. But if you haven't seen this, if you love the original film from 1974, look this up. It is, apart from the porn, which is quite mediocre, and quite honestly, I don't really enjoy the film for its pornography. I don't mind porn, I, I love porn, but the uh, particular film wasn't really my taste. But in any case, apart from the porn segments, the intercut sort of scenes that essentially has like a plot to it. A lot of it is very sort of a scene specific scene by scene recreation of the original film but in a sort of porn style and it's it is absolutely hilarious if you're a fan of the original film and you don't mind watching a bit of porn. Another awesome VCD edition and this one is from Turkey I'm pretty sure. Also really really uncommon. I was really happy to find this the bizarre. Oh, and I think I'm definitely leaving the weirdest for last in this video. And this is a pretty short sure German, Mark B. Austrian. No, pretty short sure German. This is one of the weirdest releases I've seen. You might be thinking, like, what's so weird about this? Well, for one thing, it's really uncommon. It's, it's hard to even find the info about this. I don't really know the history. So it's got a glossy sort of slipcase to it. You know, nothing particular about that. But. There's no interior artwork, there's no insert in the keep case. Okay, so um, I'm not really sure if this is official or it's a bootleg or it's a recalled edition. It's just super weird. Um, but you know, I've seen this release like on websites, I've seen it listed like with a barcode and with a cover, but I could never find this in the flesh until now. And the thing that I think is the weirdest thing about this. If you look closely beyond the bizarre sort of Instagram-ish paint style quality, which sort of makes this look like a painting rather than a photo, you're going to realize that the original picture this was based on is actually, as far as I can tell, it's a photo of a Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface action figure. This is not a real person. I mean, it does look kind of off. And 
I, I tried to study this. It's for it's hard to tell, but if you just look at the weird way he's holding the saw, it's like it looks off. And I'm pretty sure if you look at like stills of like the classic, I don't know if it's NECA or whoever who made the more popular Texas Chainsaw Massacre action figures, uh, you're probably gonna realize that I'm pretty sure this is a fucking action figure, which is so weird. I don't know why they would photograph a action figures for a cover design and then add like a bizarre paint effect to it. So yeah. Pretty sure that's it, and uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this as usual. It is always incredibly entertaining and funny. I'm not saying I'm entertaining and funny, it's just I, I enjoy making these videos, so I hope you enjoy watching them. Give me some feedback, comments, like, subscribe, share this with people who love Texas Chainsaw. Thank you very much for watching, and as usual, hope to see you all next time.